Hi. It's been a while. Anyway, this is a non-fiction re book review time because uh, Anna Baba really kind of requested that. that, And uh, I haven't done a video in a long time, so I figured I would start off with one that I've actually kind of been wanting to talk about for a while. And that is the story paradox. How Our Love of Stories Builds Societies and Tears Them Down by Jonathan Gochell. So, this is a book that I would apply as a, being a little bit under the, on the side of To a Child with a Hammer, the Whole World's a Nail. A lot of academics, when they write about things, have a tendency of over-applying the certain thing that they're talking about, about to, to being basically a, a way to explain everything. And I feel like there's a little bit of that in this book. But, that's not to say that it's bad information or that it doesn't raise some good points that I think people should probably be a little bit more aware of. And I would say that there are like three major points in this book that the author brings up. Or, I'm just breaking it down into threes because humans have a tendency of seeing, of uh, putting everything into terms of three, but... The most important things to me from this is, what do we mean when we call a story good? A lot of the times, uh, what is good and what is bad about storytelling can be somewhat nebulous and such. There's a lot of debates about whether the most recent Star Wars trilogy was good or not. And one of the reasons we always have a ten we have a problem of hitting that sort of of deciding on what's good or not is because the thing that matters most when people say a story is good is if they've been narratively transported in some way. If they can believe for a moment that this isn't an actor playing a role, but a character going through their own trial. So that narrative transportation ends up being the thing that that kind of surrounds the conversation of what a normal person means when they say something is good or not. So, for example, I've talked about this on this channel before about how I find that a lot of the times when something, when, uh, a lot of the times when media tries to get political, it fails because it doesn't get political enough. And I've always likened that to being kind of a pride porn. It's your pride getting in the way, it's the pride of the authors getting in the way of telling a good story. And that's brought up in, and that's brought up in this book too. What really, really kills narrative transportation is when you feel like you're being preached at. That kills a story faster than anything you can imagine. And I feel like that's a very good advice for anyone who wants to start, who, who wants to craft any sort of storytelling. You don't want people to believe that they're being preached at. You know, I wish I could give you some advice on how to do that. Uh, the best thing I can tell you is that you should try and understand a subject from perspective different from your own. That's been a consistent problem with a lot of, a, a lot of political media recently it doesn't understand differing perspectives and it won't understand them so what makes a good story here and the author goes into a lot more detail than i just did i would again recommend you reading the book book but what makes a good story is mostly about narrative transportation and preachiness gets in the way of that so fast the second thing is more about the stories we tell ourselves kind of about ourselves the author con consistently talks about the United States and its position in the wor world stage. Um, characterizing this as being about how, in general, Republicans seem to think that America is the shining city on the hill and just, you know, the greatest place e ever and yada yada yada, whereas the, the, Democratic, cons the Democratic perception is that they uh, think actually America is the pit of doom and the source of all the evils and ills in the world and the slave puppy orphan mind is working at 100% capacity. <laughs> and about how that dichotomy between the two political parties in the United States is really kind of harmful full to understanding the society uh, as a whole. Are there problems throughout the United States history? Well, almost certainly. But you need to have a narrative about overcoming those problems, not about how we're incessantly doomed to, to repeat them and there's nothing that we can do about them. For anyone wondering, this is one of the reasons I don't particularly care for what is being called critical race theory, but that's a whole different can of worms. 
rather than them being this story about uh, the pit of doom or the shining city on the hill, we should have a story. We should tell ourselves a story about how. Well, if you've ever read the Stormlight arc, I've, what are the most important words a man can say? That's the story we should probably be telling ourselves. And the last thing the book really talks about how talks about is how you can conceptualize human beings as mostly being an animal, as the, the main adaptation and difference between the humans and other animals is our capacity to tell people other stories. This is the one that I'm probably the most dubious about, because like I said at the beginning, this really does seem like to a child with a hammer. This is a literary scholar who unsurprisingly thinks storytelling is the most important thing about human nature. I remain unconvinced about this last point, which is why I bring it up at the end, even though it's that kind of an ever-present thing throughout the book. But, I do have to say that it does bring up some good points, and I suggest you read the book for yourself to fi find out. Even with me not necessarily agreeing with that last point, I do think this is a good book, and you should probably read it if you want to understand storytelling and, the posi and probably your position in the world. You're probably telling yourself a story about what you th about your life right now, and it'd be good and it'd be good to understand stand how and it'd be good to read this read this through once, even as so you can understand where you're coming from and why you should uh, probably try and find maybe try and find a different story to tell yourself about yourself. Sure, what the heck? I hereby promote you to Executive Delivery Boy. Executive? It's a meaningless title, but it helps insecure people feel better about themselves. I feel better about myself!